something like that. That's really very good. You're quite the artist. And you say you never saw him before in the neighborhood? No, and I know everybody on the block. Right. I saw him snooping around the Pearson's place. He gave these big parties. It was just... Excuse me, Mrs. Finn. Let's get back to when you first saw him. Oh, okay. 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 Um, I had just made myself a lemonade. Let me think. Let me think. That's it. Just picture it in your mind. Yeah, it was a nice day, and I saw this strange car out in front of the Pearson's. It was an old beat-up station wagon. And I watched it for a minute, and then this guy got now out. Now tell me again, what did he look like? He was tall, had floppy red hair. Good-looking kind of guy, you know. Now think real hard for a minute here, okay? Maybe his hair could have been reddish-brown. Does well, that make sense? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, wasn't that long, either. Mrs. Finn, the guy that we're looking for, from what we've gathered from other witnesses, his hair was, was darker. Well. Almost black. Darker. Yeah, yeah. You know, now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. He did have darker hair, and uh, he was wearing a suit, a jacket, and a tie, too. And I remember a gold bracelet around his wrist. You sure he was tall? No, no, he was a thin, little, wiry kind of a guy with curly, dark hair, and he had dark, little, beady eyes. <laughs> Mrs. Finn, hmm? you're an asset to your community. <laughs>